So you're on a budget, or you're just not interested in spending a wad of your hard-earned cash on a new gaming mouse. Fear not, because today we're taking a look at the Pictech wired gaming mouse that costs just $15. That's right, 15. That's one five, and that's it. So is it time to go raid your piggy bank, or if you're like me, the center console of your car? Well, before you do that, let's take a closer look and see if it's worth your spare change. Weighing in at about 150 grams, the Pictech wired gaming mouse is symmetrically designed with two buttons on the left side that are set to forwards and back by default. On the top, you'll find two DPI adjustment buttons just behind the scroll wheel that can control the 7200 DPI sensor on the fly. Speaking of the scroll wheel, it's quite wide and features a rubberized grip texture and LED lighting effects along both edges. The wheel provides incremental tactile feedback and overall feels pretty smooth. The right and left click buttons require a moderate to firm amount of pressure to actuate and are sloped upward or curved toward the scroll wheel. The cable is just a standard wire without any woven fabric or braiding. The mouse is absolutely covered in LED lights, which make for a really nice looking gaming mouse, even nicer than many gaming mice that cost several orders of magnitude more. The included software is surprisingly easy to use and designed pretty well overall, allowing you to customize any of the seven buttons to your liking. Under the Advanced Settings tab, you'll be able to customize the DPI profiles, including the color of the LEDs and lighting effects for each setting. The software also allows you to set up some custom macros if you're into that sort of thing, and there's a support tab to let you know if there are any firmware updates available for your mouse. I spent about a week with this mouse playing mostly FPS games like CSGO and Overwatch, and found it to perform surprisingly well. At no point did I experience any major issues such as skipping or lagging. Despite the overall good performance of this gaming mouse, I was never quite able to get fully used to the curved shape of the left and right click buttons. My main gaming mouse for the last little while has been the Logitech Hyperion Fury. On that mouse, the buttons are slightly dome shaped, which is basically the opposite of how the Pictech buttons are designed. Now, this is not something that I would consider to be a drawback or a negative attribute of this particular mouse. It's more of just like a personal preference type thing. So should you purchase the Pictech gaming mouse? I'm actually going to say yes. And let me tell you, when I first got the idea to make this video, I totally thought it was gonna go in the other direction. I thought the conclusion was gonna be, do not spend any money on this garbage. It's totally not worth it. But that is not at all what I've seen here. And it's totally not been my experience. Um, it's quite the opposite, in fact. While it doesn't offer the same premium look and feel of some of the more expensive higher-end gaming mice, at $15, it really does offer an outstanding value. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some purchasing links down here in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.